still haven't come to a place where I had a child, and and now I'm 41, and time has kind of caught up with me. In 2014, a single Vancouver woman decided to take what she felt was her last chance to conceive a child. And the journey that followed has led her to create a graphic novel, breaking the silence of what she calls taboos surrounding the world of conception. I was 40 and nearly single, and I just felt like I didn't have time to find somebody new to um, try and have a family with. And I was really, at that point, I, my biological clock was off the hook, and <laughs> it, was, it was time. After nearly five years and four miscarriages, Miriam Steinberg gave birth to twins. Her now two-year-olds are the loves of her life. But it's the journey that got her to this point that's inspired her to write the novel Catalog Baby. Just so many women have gone through it, and if you haven't gone through it, someone else that you know has, and maybe they haven't told you, but there, there's a lot, so many people. And, and I always discover that it's when I share my story that people share their stories. I've noticed that I've had numerous friends recently talk and open up about their miscarriages publicly on Facebook, and I've never witnessed that before. Maybe it's my age range, but I also think it's something that maybe people are more willing to talk about because it really does destigmatize and say this happens and this is a reality. Is that kind of something you've, you're have you trying to do as well with this book? Oh, absolutely. I had my first loss in 2015. It was, you don't know where to turn. And, and I did it as a single mom by choice. So even then, you know, like I had a lot of friends of, and family that were there to support me, but it's, it's still like, who can you tell what to? And, and there's a lot of questioning and a lot of uncertainty. The novel will hit shelves March 2nd. The 250 page book is dedicated to her twins, Isaac and Abigail, describing them as the lights of her life. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.